Good day! So ngayon, ang ating pag-aaralan ay Basic Concepts in Statistics. About the lesson, we will talk about the basic concepts in statistics, basic terms in statistics, classification of variables, level of statistics, and the four basic methods of sampling. Ang ating quote of the day, Without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. By Shakuntala Devi. So, what you learn today? Nasabi ko na kanina ang ating objectives. Basic concepts in statistics. Basic terms in statistics. Classification of variables. Level of statistics. And last, the four basic methods of sampling. Statistics. So, what is statistics? It is a collection of methods for planning experiments, obtaining a data, and then analyzing, interpreting, and drawing conclusions based on the data. Basic terms in statistics. There are four basic terms in statistics. Number one, data. Data are the values that the variables can assume. Number two, variable. A variable is a characteristic that is observable or measurable in every unit of universe. Number three, population. Population is the set of all possible values of a variable. And last, number four, sample. Sample is a subgroup of a population. Classification of variables. Qualitative variables. Words or codes that represent a class or category express a categorical attribute. Example, gender, religion, marital status, highest educational attainment. Ito yung example na kung saan tayo nabibilang. Kunyar, gender. Ako, babae ako. So, nabibilang ako sa mga kababaihan. Quantitative variables. Number that represents an amount or account. Numerical data sizes are meaningful and answer questions such as how many or how much? Example, height, weight, shoe size, number of registered cars. Sa quantitative variables naman, ito ay yung nabibilang at nasusukat. Katulad na lamang ng pera, ito ay nabibilang at ang ating height ay nasusukat. Discrete variables. Data that can be counted. Example, number of days, number of siblings, number of classmates, usual number of text messages sent in day, usual daily allowance in school. Continuous variables. It can measure all values between any two specific values like 0.5, 1.2, etc., and data that can be measured. Example, weight, height, body temperature. So, weight naman, nabibilang natin ng ating timbang sa pamamagitan ng kilograms. At by point, katulad ng 54.5 kilograms. Sa height naman, by feet or by centimeter, like 5.4 feet and 154 centimeter. Levels of measurement Nominal level This is characterized by data that consists of names, labels, or categories only. Example, gender, eye color, race, blood type, and civil status. Ordinal level this involves data that is arranged in some order but differences between data. Example, grades, score, 
highest educational attainment, the ranking in games, academic excellence awards. Internal level. This is the same in ordinal level with an additional property that we can determine meaningful amounts of differences between the data. Example, body temperature, degree Celsius, SAT score, intelligent quotient. Ordinal level. This is an interval level of modified to include the inherent zero starting point. It possesses a meaningful absolute fix, zero pin, and allows all arithmetic operations. Example, number of siblings, weight, height. Four basic methods of sampling. Number one. Random sampling. This is done by using chance or random numbers. Number two, systematic sampling. This is done by numbering each subject of the population and then selecting the nth number. Number three, stratified sampling. If a population has distinct groups, it is possible to divide the population into these groups and to draw SRS from each of the groups. Number four, cluster sampling. This method uses intact groups called clusters. Thank you. I hope you gain a new knowledge for our lesson today.